What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for video games monthly? Hey, do you nerd? Okay, we have two Video Games Monthly packages here, and there's a reason for that. When we went to Siege, the Southeast Game Exchange, I kind of wanted to uh, to wait and see if we might open it there, maybe with the guys of EGM, maybe with some other people. But they were too busy, you know, selling video games and stuff. <laughs> the, so. Well, yeah, they were very busy guys. <laughs> but in fact, all of us were too busy, so it didn't happen, which means that July right here got pushed back until August showed up. So it's time for a double unboxing. So let's tear into these. Done. Yeah. Do you want a knife? Yeah. Boom. Okay, Video Games Monthly, the monthly subscription service where you get to choose how many games you want from one of their tiers to be shipped directly to your door. You pick the systems that you want the games for, you make a list of the games you already have to avoid any duplicates. When they send you a box, update that list, and they will try not to send you any duplicates. And if you have a problem with that, take it up with this guy right here. Hey, Tom. Do they go directly to your house? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Awada. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do things a little differently this time. Now, she has the August box. How come that month? Because August is my birthday month! <laughs> <laughs> and I've got July's. Now, hopefully there won't be any duplicates in here from this one since I didn't get to update the list. But we are going to pit VGM against itself. Boom! So what we're going to do is we are going to each open our own box. We're going to take a look real quick at everything that's inside. And then we're going to have a little face off. Face off. I'm going to bring out a game and you're going to challenge that game however you can. If you know something about the game, great. If you only can go off the, the label, perfect. And, and we're going to see how the boxes stack up to one another. Battle time. Well, first of all, I'm sure we both got the card that yes. uh, reminds us to populate our list, share it on social media. So, so there you go. Okay. That one. And I got a one up. Yeah, well, I already beat you because I got a two up. Son of a. You know what really sucks though? What? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet my prize is better than yours, too. Well, uh, I do have a coaster with Floyd drinking on it. Mine's a Floydomania Frisbee. Which could <laughs> also be a coaster, and this could also be a Frisbee. Mine's better. I'm saying tie? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, how can you top a classic like... Tetris, we have Magical Tetris Challenge on the Nintendo 64. And uh, just kind of like that, that death knell, it does have an end label already in place. Mine's better because Tetris only goes one way, you know, up and down. Mine goes in a circle. Because it's racing. <laughs> and it's a colored cart, so it's oh, even better. Oh, that's almost, uh, like, I think it's kind of supposed to be teal, but yeah. it's aged. Like a, like a very, like a, like a powder now. blue. Round one, Magical Tetris Challenge versus Famicom F1 Race. Okay, round two. Well, I see your Japanese game and I raise you another classic with Space Invaders, the original game on Super Famicom. So bonus points in the fact that it's Space Invaders 
Even if it's the Japanese game, you don't need to know any English to play this. Well, fine, I see your Japanese game with my Japanese Nintendo 64 game. And mine is also in space, but it's got one hell of a cool bounty hunter with Boba Fett. Oh, ooh, <laughs> Shadows of the Empire. Mm hmm. Now, that game can be fairly divided amongst its fan base anyway. Star Wars Nintendo 64 ni tojo. I mean, I'm going to leave it up to the nerdlings to decide, but you kind of got a good point there. Yeah. It's it's hard to win against the fat man. I don't know. He's got, he's got jets. My backpack's got jets. Well, I'm Boba, the fat. Well, I'm Bounty Hunt for Jabba Hunt to finance my vet. Bomberman 2! And this is a Japanese N64 cartridge. So once more, don't need to know any English, at least I hope, to figure out how to play Bomberman. Another classic style of gameplay. I have a Super Famicom game. Okay. And it's Street Fighter, so I can kick those bombs right out the window. <laughs> oh, in Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah, so I can really kick those bombs right out the window. Oh, not bad. But you know what? You better not give all the votes there because I have Street Fighter 2 on Super Famicom, but this is the non-turbo version. Ah. But it has Ryu on the front, whereas this has Chun-Li eyes. Almost as fun as her massive thighs. Hey, everyone loves me not win as Chun-Li. You win. Is that it? Is that That's, all you got? Yes. Hmm, what do I want to go up against that game? Because I've got two to choose from. How about something that can also fly in the air and kick you if you want it to? Banjo Kazooie. Well, I feel like a little while ago we got Banjo Tooie, the Japanese version, so now we have both of those. Yeah. That's a tough one to beat. Do you go with the iconic Street Fighter 2 or do you go with the ever fun Banjo Kazooie? So do you think you can beat this game? Oh yeah, it's a Game Boy game. Pfft. I don't know. It's gonna have, you know, to find a way to beat you. Oh, it uh, 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 must be Jurassic Park. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put a dinosaur in a handheld game. Uh, 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 Nintendo. 
found a way. <laughs> Well, do you notice a theme here? They're all gray. <laughs> they are all <laughs> gray. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like an episode of Golden Girls right here. <laughs> <laughs> old i'm calling these cartridges old dumb and new <laughs> okay so they're all nintendo all nintendo mostly super famicom and nintendo 64 with uh you got the odd ones out with the famicom and game boy all right nerdlings. i win do sheer numbers beat out obvious <laughs> quality no, I tracks. obviously won with yeah, all of my Street options. Fighter, you got Space Invaders. You got a little arcade at home. I have right Boba there. Fett. You can blow up Boba Fett. Boom! I'm Bomberman. He'll hit you with his backpack. <laughs> well, <laughs> the last the last thing I had in mind is the bubble wrap for Jen. I had that too. Oh, oh, you were hiding yours. Right. You ready? Yep. <laughs> That's kind of weak bubble wrap. Then Way I, to go, VGM. Then mine wins because I had the better bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so nerdlings, please leave some comments down below on what you think of any of these games. And which, which box do you think fared better, July or August? August is a way better month. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell because we might just wait for three boxes to show up next time. I'm not going to wait no, that no, long. You can't I'm, wait I'm that too long. impatient. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to grab a drink for my coaster. What are you going to do? I'm going to steal your coaster with my frisbee. I'm going to throw it at you and it's going to get your drink and bring it back to me. That's a, that'd be a boomerang. That's not a frisbee. It's not how frisbees work. That's how my frisbee works. <laughs> don't forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram go over to t public because we've got merchandise over there hit us up on the retro refresh and if we like it we, we nerd it for the august box she means july august that was a wordo a, a voice o like a typo but with words the cat's chewing on the plastic <laughs> now he's running away <laughs> bye nerdlings bye nerdlings Okay, well, are you going to be this? Oh, dominoes. Hey, think you're good? Mm-hmm.